What's going on guys? Welcome to another episode of Smash JT. The artificial intelligence revolution is still in its infancy stages, which is both exciting and a bit scary. Not that I think the world's going to turn into Terminator 2 in the next few months, but the direction it's going is certainly not something a lot of people could have seen even a decade ago. So it's interesting to see where we go a decade from now, or 20 years, or 30 years from now. That's how fast technology is progressing. And that took all of, what, a year of progression from, from writing to images to moving images in video games and even movies with Sora out there. There's a ton of stuff that AI is revolutionizing when it comes to entertainment in the digital medium. But right now we're going to take a look at Genie and what this spells for the video game industry's future. Hit that subscribe, give me a like, and check out SmashJT.com for my full thoughts describing Google's Genie AI program that can make video games. And while I'm talking right now, I'm going to overlay some footage that came out on Twitter the other day. And it just is, yes, very basic, very elementary, but still pretty impressive. Google's latest artificial intelligence innovation, Genie, is really starting to turn some heads in the industry. It was developed by the open-endedness team at Google DeepMind, and it represents a groundbreaking advancement in the AI domain, offering the capability to create an interactive, well, currently 2D game, just based off of text prompts. And while it's not perfect the first time, you can work with it to create a game that fully functions and works pretty well. AI that can make video games. Yeah, <laughs> you heard that right. And yes, like I said at the beginning here, it's still at the infancy and it's got a long way to go. But you pair what's going on right now with Google Genie with the video game industry at large. And yes, there is a gigantic, enormous gap between AAA games with full-time, specialized, educated, experienced developers that have been working their entire lives on making these games as good as they can and you have this AI program that's generative learning that's being fed all these games and programs and everything that it's learning and taking in right now and making the most out of it what it can. But again, just the beginning, and there's a thought out there that AI could eventually overtake human development when it comes to making video games. Unlike traditional AI systems that rely on explicit programming or instructions, Genie is learning by observing. It has been fed over 200,000 hours of unlabeled video footage, predominantly of 2D platformer games, allowing it to understand and predict gameplay elements without being directly taught by a programmer and spitting out what it can come up with based out of what's been created before, which is a key aspect to AI currently. <laughs> Once the revolution comes where it doesn't need to be fed information to think on its own, then I think we need to start being a little bit more concerned. And I think that's why it's both scary and exciting for a lot of people right now is that one fact right there. So how does Genie actually work? Well, according to the info given by Google, first is the video tokenizer, which breaks down the video data into tokens. This foundational step ensures that Genie can efficiently manage a vast array of data to organize and understand the components that it's dealing with. Next is the Latent Action Model, or the LAM, and this part of the AI scrutinizes the transitions between video frames, identifying essential gameplay actions like jumping, running, interacting with objects, basic aspects of a 2D platformer game. And again, I know people are going to be like, oh, you're blowing this out of proportion. It can barely put a game together, but it can put a game together. <laughs> I don't know how else to say how big of a deal that is right now. And finally, the last part of Genie is the dynamics model. This is the AI aspect that predicts the future frames 
based on the current gameplay. This capability allows Genie to craft a fluid, dynamic, somewhat engaging gaming experience for someone to be able to play. So while it does take in a lot of information from outside sources to generate this kind of gameplay, it still has its own method of thinking and creating the next steps based off of what's transpired previously. And despite the impressive capabilities that Genie can already do, like I said, it's important to note this is still in its infancy. And that's both scary and exciting. Eventually, there definitely is going to be a potential for creating varied and immersive gaming experience, but currently, there are definitely limitations. The visual quality of these games produced by Genie is quite constrained and lacks any kind of polish or refinement seen in professionally developed titles, and access to Genie is currently restricted, which limits its immediate impact on the gaming industry currently. But could you imagine if Google has a 2.0 version of this that they released to the masses, how it would completely ruin the entire video game industry at large. And sure, there will always be the Fortnites or the massive mega hits that people play together and, and that's gonna be there at least in our lifetime most likely. Those games aren't going away. But this style of game if it does pick up and is good enough to play, there are tons of ideas that I already have coming into my head that you could use this for to create a dynamic, living, breathing experience of a game that no two games are the same. Meaning that people could play a game that has similar concepts and styles and mechanics, but the levels would be completely different and the solutions to puzzles or accessing different parts may be different from experience to experience where people could talk about oh this is the kind of game that I played here's the level that I played from it oh mine did this and it would give a different kind of communication instead of everyone playing the same exact game or or you could have everyone playing the same exact game and then have parts of the game that go dynamic that change completely based off of the style that someone's played before or just being completely randomized but then going back to the regular game that everybody has the introduction of genie is a clear indication of where the future of game development and ai technology is headed and google continues to refine and develop this program i would anticipate a new era where game creation becomes more accessible allowing for an explosion of creativity and innovation alongside the inevitable catastrophic downfall of an entire industry if this all goes to hell and nobody wants to play any of these games and everyone gets fired from sony microsoft and nintendo because nobody was buying their games and everything just comes crashing down i mean that's also a possible result but as far as i'm concerned genie represents an exciting glimpse into the potential future that we're headed towards and I say potential, but the more I'm around this stuff, the more I see it happening, the more I feel like it's turning from a potential future to an inevitable future. And sure, we'll always have the retro games to play. Those are not going anywhere. But in the current state of the video game industry that we find ourselves right now, it's facing a dynamic crossroads. And this is on sustainable triple a game pricing the costs have been astronomical to create them and it's just not financially sound for a business to keep pouring millions if not billions into making a game that there's no guarantee of a payout at the end of it and ultimately that's what's going to doom this industry. The spiraling costs out of control, the development costs, the charges, the sheer amount of games being made with no limits to how many games can be made, how many developers out there, how many indie developers are making games, which is great, by the way. But it's just this explosion currently of games everywhere turning into games as a service, which many consumers, including myself, have kind of refuted. Not a big fan of paying a monthly fee and not having anything to show for it at the end of a few years. It's not the ideal path to be headed down right now. And I think game companies are seeing that. And AI looks to be the next big generational leap. As much as a lot of people out there 
don't want to hear it. Anyways, that's where I'm going to leave this video on Genie, Google's new video game AI creating mechanism. It's fun. It's exciting. It's scary. It's real. It's happening. And it's getting better every second that passes. Let me know what you guys think about artificial intelligence games. Again, check out smashjt.com for the full article describing my thoughts and insights on this situation. I will put a link in the description below. Thank you so much for watching. And as always, you stay smashing. Smash, 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 smash.